We are here in Malta with Dimitrios, who is the country manager of Revolut for Malta, Greece and Cyprus. Correct. Welcome and tell us a little bit about Revolut. Hi, it's great to be here with you guys. Revolut is a fintech company that started three years ago with a Ponzi mission to turn the financial system upside down. Our product is basically a, an app that you can send money abroad without any fees. You can exchange your currency again without any fees and you can get crypto as well and a few other stuff. So it was really, really popular. We got 3 million users across Europe. Malta and sp specifically, it was super, super interesting. We launched uh, two months ago and we doubled our user base uh, uh, very very quick so we are very happy to be in Malta and uh, to, to share the Revolut journey with you guys. In the past uh, several years uh, the financial crisis especially in Greece was severe so it is evident that the current financial system needs a very fundamental overhaul. Uh, there has been some question around your introduction of the crypto experience in the Revolut app because if I am correct, people can buy Bitcoin or, or Ether, but actually they cannot transfer. So they can only buy and hold or buy and sell. Why is that and, and do you plan to, to change that? Yeah, so first let me tell you that it wasn't just Greece, uh, there was the same situation in Cyprus, there was a haircut in all the deposits. I heard that uh, here in Malta there was some other problems with a certain bank, so it's a global problem and we're trying to fix it. So with crypto and your question, the idea was to democratize cryptocurrencies and bring it to the masses. You would see that when we introduced this product feature back in uh, December last year, our user um, base just exploded. Why? Because there were so many people interested in moving into crypto and investing and get, you know, uh, their first moves into the blockchain um, uh, space but they were not sure they heard all these stories about hackers and dodgy exchanges that were shut down so they needed security they needed ease of use and speed most of all so if you were a Revolut user, you can buy immediately crypto without waiting until you know a verification that takes weeks to appear it's also much cheaper than most of the uh, exchanges and you can also send crypto between Revolut users. In a sense, this is an introductory move for anyone who wants to be you know, more familiar with the blockchain uh, space. And then, of course, if you do your own research and dig deeper, you can go in other platforms as well. So what are the next steps uh, for Revolut? Uh, what are you going to introduce next? My goodness, we have so many plans. Um, the first most important one would be to launch the commission-free trading platform. That means that you would buy through the app any stock that you believe is going to go up, basically. And we would allow uh, stocks from Nasdaq and New York Stock Exchange to begin with and then later on adding the London Stock Exchange. Again, this is democratizing investments uh, in this sense because we wouldn't charge anything for this particular transaction and if you compare it with any other investment platforms that you have to pay 20 euros to buy some stock and then 20 euros to sell the stock, anybody can use the, uh, the trading platform through Revolut without spending too much money on it. You have a certain geographical coverage, but of course there are billions of people who are unbanked, uh, who are still outside of the financial system. Do you have plans for further geographical expansion as well? Absolutely. So our first move would be to uh, launch in the US. This is something that should come by the end of the year. We also have uh, teams working hard to launch in places like Canada, Japan, New Zealand, Australia, Singapore, Hong Kong and uh, Latin America would be next. Our target is to be you know, one of the largest, if not the largest, financial institution within five years and get uh, to a point where we would have 100 million users on Revolut. Uh, does that then mean that rather than being an upstart revolutionary, you will be a lazy incumbent? <laughs> not at all. I mean, our slogan is never settle and get done. This is how we work. We will never settle. If you see our app history, you will see every single month we release something special, something new. This week, actually, we are releasing Serlog. So Serlog is a really cool 
AI technology that will go through all your transactions and will monitor any kind of fraud that might happen and proactively block that transaction so they would, you know, you can be safe with Revolut that your money is in a good way and protected. So what's this space? We are releasing so many new stuff and Revolut will continue to innovate. The uh, boundary, especially in the blockchain world between individuals and corporations is blurry as uh, professionals move from one project to the other they get together in a very fluid manner and projects need financial services that many traditional institutions are unable to, to, to provide or unwilling to provide. Do you plan to offer uh, products for businesses as well? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we already offer Revolut Business for business bank accounts that take one to three days to open instead of one to three weeks. And again, this is bringing much more innovation into the space because you can get other kind of apps like Slack or Zero or Free Agent and integrate this with a Revolut business so you can automate your workflows. That means significant cost savings for the business, time savings as well. You also get corporate cards so all your team can move around the globe and get the same kind of benefits that you would get from Revolut Retail. And that's currency conversion without any fee and move, moving money abroad without any fees. So it's right there. We invite businesses to give it a try and uh, try it for themselves. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that uh, the fintech sector is uh, just uh, at the beginning and uh, it is very exciting to see how it uh, uh, intersects with uh, the revolutions of the blockchain world as well. Thank you very much for the interview and thank you